the argument that I kind of give sometimes for psych using psychedelics for creativity is that, hey, um, you know, we talk about breaking habits, right? That's an element of uh, um, uh, creativity, right? It's like getting out of that same rut, that mm -hmm. same habitual sort of behavior that you were in. And then um, perspective shifts, right? So looking at something differently, mm -hmm. right? Which would imply novelty. Yeah. Um, and I think that psychedelics do both of those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily disinhibiting you mm -hmm. in the sense of like, like alcohol would, right? But maybe just doing those two things, you don't think those two things might enhance creativity in some people? Yes. So um, I think that there um, can be what I, what I think is um, an element of disinhibition um, is that if we think about all the constraints on our brain activations, a lot of it is sort of baked in of our brain trying to settle into particular activation states. Like we were talking about the perceptions of reality or perceptions of this football helmet. Right. So I have a hard time shaking that that looks to me like a football helmet right. because all of my cognitive apparatus is under pretty, you know, conventional, dull, boring conditions. Yeah. Now, if I were to add, you know, a hallucinogenic drug, it would be much easier for me to see that football helmet flexibly dissolve into some other visual representations right. or different meanings. Right. Now, I believe that's because those drugs are eliminating some of the natural constraints we have in our brain mm -hmm. for um, uh, stabilizing perception. They're destabilizing our brains. Mm -hmm. Now, can that be very beneficial? I think that it can be. I think that there are people who reported really life-changing, transformative experiences for the better. My caution, however, is that because there's a whole recreational side and the science is not there yet, mm -hmm. um, that people can do things to their brains that they didn't intend to do. Right. When we acquire hallucinogenic agents on the street, we have no idea what's in them. Right, right. And there's a whole marketplace of people trying to make money fabricating stuff that will cause weird effects on the brain, sure. some of which can be life-changing forever. Yeah. You can do serious brain damage. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you remember the M triple P um, or MP triple plus agent that was you found in San Francisco. Well, some people develop Parkinsonism that lasted their entire lives um, just from a single like dose a, of a, a drug. A psychedelic? It was a, sort of like a stimulant-like drug, yeah. Um, but it was it was marketed as an MDMA-like drug or an ecstasy-like experience. Right, right. So um, you know, you just never know what people are fabricating out there. So the only way to really do these kinds of drugs um, is safely, I believe, is in a controlled environment right. where the scientists, investigators, are required by law, sure. by federal regulations, to know what they're getting. There's sure. quality control the same way we have for other you know, uh, pharmaceutical agents. So sure. that, that's, I think, the, the path forward uh, for the time being. And I think that the research is a really active area of research right now. So I think that there's promise there. Um, but I think that so many issues need to be understood better um, before, um, uh, you know, we can advocate, uh, you know, widespread use, especially to do something like enhancing creativity. Right. Now, can it work? Yeah, probably there are, there are benefits. But why not do other things that are safer? Like just having the sense of being away can have an incredible effect. Mm. Like there's a, a colleague of ours and friend, Louis Schwartzberg, who's, have you ever seen movingart.com? No. Makes this incredible thing. Whenever you see like a video of a mushroom growing um, and using time-lapse high-res oh, right, photography right, 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 yeah. or a wave breaking and mm -hmm. you can see every droplet coming mm -hmm. off of that, just by taking these unique and different perspectives, I think he is providing a kind of an experience that really is transformative right. and gives you the sense of being away. That kind of difference in perspective taking can in and of itself, just by having the experience, be life changing and life altering. Right. So I'm in favor very much of having those kinds of experiences take place. Yeah.